Okay, we are in section 15.6, the Millikan oil drop experiment. And you'll learn why this is important uh, towards the end, uh, the end of this slide. From 1909 to 1913, Robert Andrews Millikan performed a brilliant set of experiments at the University of Chicago where he measured the elementary charge E of the electron and demonstrated the quantized nature of the electric charge, the, uh, of the electronic charge. The figure on the left shows the apparatus. Oil drops uh, that had been charged by friction on an atomizer are allowed to pass through a small hole in the upper plate. A horizontal light beam is used to illuminate the droplets, which are viewed by a telescope with axis at right angles to the beam. The droplets then appear as shining stars against a dark background, and the rate of fall of individual drops can be determined. We will assume a single drop having a mass of M and carrying a charge of Q is view, being viewed and its charge is negative. If no electric field is, is present between the plates, the two forces acting on the charge are the force of gravity, Mg, acting downward, and an upward viscous drag force, D, as shown in the top right figure. The drag force is proportional to the speed of the drop. When the drop re reaches its terminal speed, V, the two forces balance each other, Mg equals D. Now let's suppose an electric field is set up between the, the plates of a battery, connecting, connected so that the upper plate is positively charged. In this case, a third force, Q sub E, acts on the charged drop. Because Q is negative and E is downward, the electric force is upward, as in the bottom right figure. If this force is great enough, the drop moves upward and the drag force D acts downward. When the upward electric force QE balances the sum of the force of gravity and the drag force, both acting downward, the drop reaches a new terminal speed, V sub prime. With the field turned on, the drop moves slowly upward, typically at a rate of hundredths of a centimeter per second. The rate of fall in the absence of a field is comparable. So a single droplet with, a constant with constant mass and radius can be followed for hours as it alternately rises and falls, simply by turning the electric field on and off. After making measurements on thousands of droplets, Millikan and his coworkers found that to within about 1% precision, every drop had a charge equal to some positive or negative integer multiple of the elementary charge E. It was later established that positive integer multiples of E would arise when, oil, when an oil droplet had lost one or more electrons. In the same way, negative integer multiples of E would arise when a drop had gained one or more electrons. The fact that these gains or losses were in, in, were in integral numbers provided conclusive evidence that charge is quantized. And next we're going to talk about the Van de Graaff generator.